So I now want to move to a different example. The lady tasting tea is a very old example, but I want to move to an example of a project that I worked on where we did do this sort of hypothesis test. In particular, this was a study focused on assessing the effect of offering free legal aid to an indigent client. So in particular, we have a bunch of people who are trying to receive unemployment benefits. They don't have money to hire lawyers on their own, and they need to go through the appeals process. They call up a place called the Harvard Legal Aid Bureau that offers free aid. Because the Harvard Legal Aid Bureau, HLAB it's called, gets many more requests than it can accommodate, we worked with them to randomize which applicants were actually accepted to receive free legal, legal aid so that we could assess the effectiveness of these free lawyers by comparing the group that was offered free legal aid to the group that was not offered free legal aid. And we're trying to answer the question, what is the effect of offering legal aid to a potential client who faces a legal issue on the outcomes of the case, the outcomes for the client, whether they actually get their money, and the system? Are we helping um, make the unemployment system run more smoothly, for example? So just going straight to the answer here, because that's what we're doing at this moment, if we look at the two groups, we have the set of people who were offered help from HLAB, the set of people who were not offered help from HLAB, and what you can see is that 76% of the people who were offered help from HLAB won their cases, which is great, but also 72% of the people who were not offered HLAB help won their cases. In other words, there's only a four percentage point difference that we observed between the win rates among those who were offered help and those who weren't. So the question is, what do we conclude? What do we conclude? Do we conclude that there is a four percentage point difference? That really, you know, what HLAB is doing is increasing the win rate by four percentage points? Or do we conclude that that difference we see, 76% versus 72%, happened just by random chance? We're going to use a hypothesis test to assess that. In particular, we're going to use what's called a randomization test. In a randomization test, the null hypothesis is that the distribution of outcomes is the same in the two groups. In other words, it doesn't matter which group you're in, the outcomes are going to be the same either way. And we'll talk more about these sorts of null hypotheses as we move forward. We can use any test statistic we want. We can use any summary of the data we want. When we talked about the lady tasting tea, we talked about the number of cups that she got correct. With this legal example, we might use as a test statistic the difference in win rates between those offered help and those not offered help. That would be an example of a test statistic we could use. And the way we're going to frame this problem is to say, given the null hypothesis, assuming that the outcomes are the same in the two groups, assuming that it doesn't matter whether you're offered help from HLAB or not, assuming that there's nothing real going on here, no difference, the variation in the difference in win rates is just random. It's just random. And that's going to give us the randomization distribution of the test statistic. So I want to talk about that a little more, but I'm going to do it in the context of just a subset of the data. In reality, we had 207 people involved in this study, 207 people who were either offered help or not. But let's pretend we only had three and think about what we would do in that context. And then I'll show you what we got for the 207. 